Good morning. Welcome to this week. Olympics alarm. Terror threats. Emergency evacuation plans. The State Department issues a brand new travel alert. And a warning to our athletes not to look too American. Is Sochi safe? What if terror strikes? This morning, Martha Raddatz with the breaking details. Then, make or break moment. Mr. Speaker, the President of the United States. The stage is set for President Obama's State of the Union. The powerhouse Roundtable takes it on. Plus, shocking scandal how lavish tastes brought down a power couple. Clinton's cover making waves, and Mitt Romney. I just can't believe you're gonna lose. Yeah. Stealing the Sundance spotlight. It's all right here this Sunday morning. From ABC News, this week with George Stephanopoulos starts now. Hello again, I'm Jonathan Carl. Great to have you with us. Much to cover this morning, including later White House Press Secretary Jay Carney. We go head to head every day in the White House briefing room. Occasionally it gets a little heated. These memos say that at the end of the day, we are all stuck in the same queue because they all have to go through the same portal. John, I get it. But the person who calls isn't the one who continues to wait after the paper application is filled. Okay, well, we'll see what happens when Jay joins us shortly for his first Sunday show interview. But we begin with an Olympic alert. New warnings out this weekend about security in Sochi. Let's go straight to Martha Raddatz, who's reporting this morning from the Middle East. Martha. Good morning, John. With opening ceremonies only 12 days away, Russia and indeed the world are on high alert. The U.S. State Department issued a new travel advisory Friday, noting the possible presence of so-called Black Widow suicide bombers in Sochi. The warning followed new threats this week, vowing attacks on the games, with the potential female suicide bombers still at large. Retired Lieutenant General Michael Barbero, who led U.S. military efforts to prevent terrorist bomb attacks, explained the tough task facing Russian authorities. They have to try to defeat the toughest IED challenge. There is a suicide bomber in a crowd. There's no silver bullet, there's no technology, there's some fo face, facial recognition, some body scanning, but it's not a game changer, it's not foolproof. Some Olympians are taking no chances. One U.S. speed skater advising his family not to make the trip to Sochi. He wanted us to stay home uh, so that he wouldn't have to, to worry about us. One less thing to, to be concerned about. Diplomatic security agents will accompany U.S. athletes to all events. And the U.S. Olympic Committee has warned athletes not to wear U.S. gear outside Olympic venues to avoid being targeted. The only thing I said to my family was um, bring a jacket that doesn't scream America. And while Russia takes the lead on securing Sochi, the U.S. has repeatedly offered its assistance. FBI agents will be on the ground during the games and two U.S. Navy ships will be in the nearby Black Sea. Whatever we can do, uh, we want to do to help. But one informal request by Russia's top general to Joint Chiefs Chairman Martin Dempsey for American roadside bomb jamming technology may go unheeded. As far as jamming technology, we're not going to share that. Why not? Because it's very closely held. If you understood how we jammed, you could defeat it. The key to stopping any terror attack, of course, is intelligence. Russia, the U.S., and others are sharing whatever possible. But like anything else, it is not perfect. 